Hello, in this video I will discuss how to draw orthographic projection of a section pyramid and also I will explain how to develop its lateral surface. For this I have taken an example of a hexagonal pyramid with side of base 30 mm. This base side is of 30 mm and height 75 mm. Height of this pyramid is 75 mm. It stands with its base on HP. Its base is kept on HP and an edge of the base parallel to VP. One edge of the base, this edge is parallel to VP or parallel to XY line. First we have to draw orthographic projection of this pyramid in this particular position. We know we draw that view of the pyramid just where true shape of its base is visible. So you can see that this base will be visible from top. So top view will be drawn in this case first and once you draw top view in which you will get a hexagon of sides 30 mm with two sides this side and this side parallel to XY line. After that you have to draw front view. After drawing this front view and top view of this pyramid you have to cut it by a plane perpendicular to VP. So plane which is cutting this pyramid is perpendicular to VP. That means in front view it will appear as a line. In front view it appears, this plane will appear as a line which is inclined at 45 degree to the HP. So inclination of this line from XY line or inclination of this plane from HP, horizontal plane, plane is 45 degree and it is passing through the midpoint of the axis. So this is axis of the pyramid. So midpoint of axis from here this line is passing. So remaining portion of this pyramid is this one that is truncated pyramid. We have to draw projection of this pyramid first. So we will start with drawing XY line. Then top view you have to draw first which will be a hexagon of side 30 mm each side. And this one side is parallel to XY line. This side is kept parallel to XY line. Now join all opposite corners these lines are represent, representing slant edges of the pyramid and mark all these points. So middle point, this point is apex of the pyramid, name this, uh, this is O and other edges, other corner points I have marked as A, B, C, D, E and F. Now project this in front view. Now the base is kept on HP, therefore base will be visible in XY line. So project all this in XY line. So A, B, C, D, these four points will be visible and E and F are not visible. So I have written A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash at bottom and E dash, F dash at top of this line. Project this apex. So draw axis through apex. Height of this axis is given 75 mm. Mark top point as O dash. Now join O dash with all the other points. These are slant edges of the pyramid. Now take middle point center point that is this is total 75 so this distance will be 37.5 mark this point here at 37.5 mm from this point draw one line inclined at an angle of 45 degree this angle is 45 degree now this is the section plane which is cutting this slant edges at different points mark these points where this slant edges are cut by the section plane so first this one dash is the point where this section plane cut uh, OA O dash A dash at 1 dash. Similarly, all other slant edges are cut at different points. Name these points as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash. Now project these points on top view. So this 1 dash is on O dash A dash, this slant edge. So this is my slant edge OA. This is O and this is A. So OA. So project 1 dash on OA. So you will get 1. Similarly, 2 and 6 are on O dash B dash and O dash F dash. So this is OB and this is OF. So project these two points. So this point should be 6 and this point should be 2, 2 and 6. Similarly, project 3 and 5. So this should be 3 and this should be 5, 3 and 5. And similarly, project 4 dash, you will get 4 here on OD. So this is OD. So this is O dash D dash. So you got 4 dash on this 4. Once you get all these points, join these points in sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is, uh, this part is cut and removed. So this portion is uh, section part. So draw section line or hatching line which should be uh, equally spaced. Uh, uh, you have to use 
thin lines to draw these lines and uh, these lines should be approximately at an angle of 45 degree now make all the thick lines which are these edges are remaining edges so these edges i have made with thick lines i have drawn thick lines similarly in front view also a dash one dash b dash to two dash all these lines are remaining lines so i have drawn these as thick lines so this is the required front view and top view of the section pyramid uh, this is what is remaining portion of that is truncated pyramid now we have to develop lateral surface that means this surface of this pyramid for this for we know that for development of lateral surface of pyramid we use radial line method from a point o you have to draw an arc of radius slant height now what is slant height slant height is the actual length or true length of the slant edges now these are the slant slant edges oa ob ob oc od oe of these are the six slant edges and um, you have to take length of true length of any of this slant edge you can see that in front view o dash a dash is a line uh, of and top view of this line is oa which is parallel to xy line therefore this o dash a dash is the true length of the slant edge or this is the slant height so take this length o dash to a dash take this length center o radius and draw an arc now in this arc start with one point here i have marked one point a now step off distances equal to base edges that is 30 mm so take 30 mm in your compass and start from a and draw arcs of equal length mark these points as in sequence so a then f e d c and b so i have divided this arc into equal number of parts that is six equal number of parts so when you draw this in six equal number of parts you can see that one two three four five and six it's it will start from a and end with a same point so the starting point and end point will be same you can start with any point and in sequence you have to cut so i have started from a that means from this edge and this corner point and then again it will end with same point now join o with all these points so this will this will be these lines are radial lines these lines are nothing but uh, slant edges of this pyramid now i have drawn these slant edges with thin line because some part of the slant edges are cut and removed now join all this a with f f with e so on these lines lines are base edges these are base edges e f f e now these edges are intact and therefore uh, these lines i have made thick now you have to mark all these points 1 dash 1 2 3 4 5 6 points so um, this should be of true length now you can see that a dash 1 dash i already told that a1 you can see a1 here and a dash 1 dash here so this is a line and this line is parallel top view of this line is parallel to xy line therefore this is true length measure this length a dash to 1 dash a to 1 and mark the same length say this same length here as 1 and here also same a so mark this point as 1 similarly you can get this 4 also from d to 4 or o to 4 any one length you can take now this is true length because top view of od is parallel to xy line od or 4d you can see this 4d is parallel to xy line so this is true length so measure this length from d to 4 or o to 4 so o to 4 or d to 4 any one length you take and mark here in od so this point is 4 o to 4 is 4 same length you have obtained now to get this o to 2 or b to 2 this is not true length because when you look this line in top view this is what you are getting this is 2 to b or o to b this line this line and this line both are inclined to xy line therefore true length is not visible at all so what you have to do you have to project this 2 6 and 3 5 on any of these two lines o dash a dash or o dash d dash i have transferred these points on o dash a dash and mark these points as 2 double dash and 3 double dash now these are the actual length of uh, 2 dash or distance of 2 dash from o dash this actual distance is actually o dash 2 double dash now measure this take this length o dash to 2 double dash and mark here on ob uh, for 2 and on of of for 6 so mark these two points o to 2 
here and O2 6 here on F. So this is F. So in this 6, uh, mark this point as 6. Both are of same length O dash 2 double dash. So this distance is O dash 2 double dash is the distance from O2 2 and O2 6. Similarly, you will get O dash to 3 double dash and mark here in C and E. Same distances C, 3 and in E mark this point as 5. Join these points with thick line. Now remaining portion, these edges are still there. So A21, F26, all these are made thick lines. This is the required development of lateral surface of this truncated pyramid.